Okay, now, five, six ish minute video of how to make a LiPo safe charging box for charging and storing. So, okay, first you're going to want to drill a hole in that in one of the corners, preferably the back corner. So I'm going to do that off camera because last time I tried to do that on, cor on camera it ended horribly. So I'm going to try that. I'll be back. I'll piece this bit together because yeah. Okay, now that we've got that done, see that fits. That's a standard like cord off like uh, computer power supply, etc. Uh, and you could probably fit two of those through there. So make it big enough for your charger. Your charger's cord now. So, yeah. Now, we're going to move on to the window up here. You're going to want, if you want a window, this is optional. I'd recommend having a window. You're going to want to acquire some plexiglass. Like that. See, mine is off of my boat, which I'm not using anymore. Because uh, it adds too much weight, etc., etc., etc. So, you're going to want to get your plexiglass down to the right size that you want, and then you're going to want to get a hole in your put in your toolbox for it. So, yeah, just I'm using just a standard toolbox. This is uh oh, where's the ruler? Twelve-inch ruler. Oh, it's about 18 inches long, I'd say. So, just this is just an 18 inch long toolbox, so I can store, and I'll be able to store a bunch of lipos in it. So, yeah, there. There you go. I could probably actually get two windows out of that. One, one over here, right there, and then one down here from right there. Yeah, but anyways, I'll do that, and, yeah. This is, hey, look, it's my finished box. Auto toolbox, yeah. There's the hole in the end somewhere down there. And here's the plexiglass shielding right there. Little window. Tin foil sealed up around it. Oof. might bit hot. As you can see I do have a flame going in there just to show the capabilities of it. And as you see the plexiglass and the tape hasn't even started to come off yet. Not even getting soft. That's been in there for about a minute. And that's but that's hot to the that's like that will burn you. So, went out when I opened it. Yeah, you can see right there, that little black spot. That's, yeah. It done got burned. I think the reason... Yeah, the tape is actually cool to the touch there. So, I think that the deal with that is that, um... Yeah, it just it is a little hard to open because it is an older banged up toolbox. And also here. As you can see you kinda gotta as you can see I think you kinda gotta pull on the little loop there and push on the lid to get the spade down into the little thing, my bop. <laughs> and then, yeah, just, yeah, close it and things and stuff, so. But, yeah, I can see down in there. <laughs> yep. Not a problem to see when you've got the light on. So, well, here, let me actually 
I was doing a little bit of soldering earlier. Soldering connectors on batteries and etc. 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 So yeah. But yeah, right there. You can see into the box pretty well. So I'm, I think I'm actually just gonna leave it right there under the light. Like that, so yeah. Because that'll like, put my charger right where that one is now. Because that one, it's kind of on the fritz. It's an Onyx 240, it's lasted for about. Oh, I want to see it. I want to say about a year now. So I mean, it still works fine. It's just having a few troubles, is all now, though. So, but, I will be ordering a new a LiPo soon, though. My first LiPo, yay! Along with the charger slash balancer by Gen's Ace. It's, it is 12 volt DC, but that is not a problem because...